you want to see my brand new office. Thank you guys so much for being so patient as I've moved house. It's obviously just such a stress trying to move everything, like just upheave your entire life. But I do feel like I'm finally officially moved in. There's still a few things here and there I need to do, but this office is finally ready. I know loads of you guys wanted to see a full house tour, but I don't really feel that comfortable giving blueprints to burglars, you know what I mean? So I figured we would do an office tour. But before we begin this tour, I would just like to say a massive thank you to JBL for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be demonstrating to you guys the brand new JBL link view, which I have right here in my office, as well as showing you my new editing suite, my gaming corner, and my music production area. I ran out of adjectives for places, but you get my point. Let's go! So down here, by the front entrance of the office, I kind of just put all of my musical equipment for now. Um, the keyboard and its stand takes up so much room that I just thought I'm just gonna fold it against the wall, put my guitars there to create maximum space. But this is essentially kind of where the magic sort of happens. That's <laughs> a bit weird, calling my music magic. On the wall over here, I have the plaque that YouTube gave me for doing the Made For You campaign a couple of years ago. It's just a whiteboard for my to-do stuff. I, I still like um, writing physical to-do lists, but maybe I won't need to do that anymore. And this is a plaque that my manager gifted me at the end of the Europe tour that I just got off of. It says, presented to Emma Blackery in celebration of her first European headline tour from Mark and all at Kilimanjaro. And it's got the uh, the tour poster. And uh, it's it's nice. It's, it's good to have reminders of things that you've achieved. So over here on the opposite side of the entrance to the office, we have just, well, it's a pretty underwhelming cupboard to be honest with you. It's really just, a ring light and some, some other filming lights and, and a tripod and a green screen that you can't see. Greens, anyway, it's, it's a terrible cupboard. Forget about the cupboard. So I'm aware that this empty clothes rail is potentially the most boring thing you could possibly see in a room tour, but I'm actually gonna be turning that into my capsule wardrobe, which is basically like the essentials of like my day-to-day -day wear, like, you know, um, plain t-shirts and shoes that I wear all the time and blazers and a coat and things like that. Just Google capsule wardrobe. In fact, I have an idea. Okay, Google, search capsule wardrobe techniques on YouTube. Sure, showing capsule wardrobe techniques. But yeah, basically the thing behind me is where I'm gonna be filming a lot of my videos from now on. Uh, this this whole room, this is like the only room I'm gonna be filming in. I wanna make more fashion videos is, is what I'm saying. And I'm really excited to do it. I'm excited to just focus on content that I'm really passionate about, stuff that I already watch. But I think 2019 is the year that I finally just, just upload whatever I want, whenever I want, and just stop worrying about things all of the time. Hopefully, you're excited for that kind of stuff. I hope, please, uh, who knows? Anyway, let's go over to my desk. You appear to have reached me at my desk. I decided to go back to using my old iMac so that I can actually just sit at a desk and edit and do whatever I need to do. For the last like couple of years, I've been using like a poor MacBook and it's kind of led me to like do my work in bed and not really get dressed or anything all day. So I figured if I actually had a physical workspace that I had to go to in order to edit, then it would be beneficial to my productivity and also no, nope, no, nope, that, that was it. Ah, but we're not here to talk about my iMac. You may have noticed this little beauty down here. This is the JBL Link View. I'll be honest with you, right? Before JBL gifted me this Link View, I'd never used any sort of home assistant. I just, I don't know. It's not like I didn't see the point. It's just, I never really saw it as something that would be integral to my life. You know, if I, if I wanted to find out the weather, I could just, you know, just get my phone out and just, type it, you know. But why would I want to do that when I could just say, okay, Google, what's the weather like? Currently in Basildon, it's seven degrees and mostly sunny. Well, there you go. But here's the other thing, right? I used to think that home assistants were just for things like that, like what's the weather like and, and how's the traffic, you know. That's kind of what you see in demos, but this JBL link view does so much more than that. And Google Assistant is so, so intelligent that you can talk to it like a normal human and it will understand what you're trying to say to it. For instance, let's stick with a Christmassy theme, shall we? Okay, Google, 
Show me how to cook a turkey. Sure, here are some recipes. What the heck? How to cook a turkey. Let's do it. Boom, you have clear ingredients, you have all the steps you need, and you press start cooking. Before we start, preheat oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 165 degrees Celsius. Not actually gonna be Let doing. Know when you're done. Shall do. Not actually gonna do that right now as this office does not yet have an oven in it. I'm working towards it. But the fact is you can go hands-free with this thing as well. So you're not just like getting like dough and greasy fingers all over these things. Okay, Google, I'm done. There are 10 ingredients. You can ask for the next ingredient or skip to the instructions. Sorry, I just- The first ingredient is one onion, coarsely chopped. She does talk a lot, okay? I'm being real about it. That's my honest review. She's very helpful, but she just she really talks. I think really the problem is I'm not used to people talking to me. Anyway, I actually just kind of remembered that that I'm not very good at cooking. So maybe that one isn't really relevant to me. Okay, Google, search Emma Blackery cooking video. Sure, here are some videos. Boom. Hey, would you look at that? All my cooking videos get really good views. Never really seen it in this context before. That's actually very helpful. No, don't burn. Okay, you're, you're still burning. This is not burn well. I said we had more mixture. We're not gonna be cooking a turkey on this channel this Christmas. How about we get even more Christmassy? Okay, Google, play me some Christmas music. Sure, have a listen to this Christmas music station on YouTube Music. Probably can't do that because of copyright, but as you can clearly see, it, it does work. <laughs> Huh. The fact is, you can clearly see how helpful the JBL Link View is around the home. To be able to do so many things hands-free without getting your greasy mitts every- I have greasy mitts, okay, I'm not saying you do. But the fact that you can just be on the other side of the room and get cooking instructions. You can put on music or watch YouTube videos. You can schedule events and add things to your Google Calendar. You can add all your favorite TV streaming apps. You can add your music streaming apps such as Spotify. And it also has a built-in camera so you can do video calling with your friends and family, which is perfect if you live far away from them and you want to wish them a Merry Christmas. The JBL Link View really is the perfect Christmas present and I'm so grateful to JBL for sending me the Link View. I know I'm going to be using it throughout next year. It's going to help me so much with productivity. It really is going to be so helpful. Anyway, on with the tour. So this desk, uh, which is awesome by the way, uh, and this chair both come from Ikea. I just feel like this is a really, really nice design. I'm so used to getting um, like really plain looking stuff from Ikea because it is so affordable. But I just, I love the finish. I think it really complements the clothing rail that you just saw as well. This whole room is like white and wood, uh, which is what I was going for. And I'm just really, really excited to have a clean, tidy workspace for the first time in so, so long. And this is the first desk that I've had that I really, really love. Uh, like I said, I'm so used to sort of cheaper desks, which I'll show you in a minute because I have some um, but, but I really enjoy just sitting down here and I, I look forward to sitting down and, and working So I think that's definitely gonna be a good thing going into 2019. This is my brand new gaming and music corner So being real with you, nothing has really changed uh, except I have White desks now, woo! Ignoring my horrific cable management, I know, I feel like I should have given you a warning. This PC is the same one that I bought in 2015. Never changed it, this is the original Birdie Boots PC. Um, and uh, it still works. I don't play like really intensive games, you know, anything that's really, really hard on the CPU. Um, so for things like The Sims and, and, you know, games that are really similar, this thing works absolutely fine. I'm not gonna give you like a spec rundown. It's, it's pretty crappy nowadays, but, you know, it does the job. And finally, in the most underwhelming reveal shot ever, while we're currently blinded by the sun setting, this is my music production desk. Uh, there is a million subscriber plaque under the table. I really don't have any room to put it, okay? Anyway, so I have my basic USB interface. This is some M-Audio thing. It's super duper old, 
but to be honest, I only really use um, one XLR in and maybe a quarter jack if I want to record some bass or guitar. It really does everything I need. I don't need anything massive. This is my absolute workhorse. This MacBook is a beast and I only use it for music production. I use um, Logic Pro uh, when I want to create demos and uh, it's, it's, it's great. I just, I wish I used it more than I did, you know? Maybe, Emma, you should write some more songs. So really, that's about it. Obviously, um, it's not completely done. There's still some things I want to do. I need to get like a rug in here because it sounds so echoey. Yeah, and uh, obviously I need to build my capture wardrobe. I need to build it like pretty much the same as I had it in my old place, which I'm gonna do this evening, but I really wanted to film this video before the sunset, you know? But I'm, I'm so, so happy in this room. I'm so happy I finally have a place where I can actually go and create everything I need to. Like every single YouTube video you can see from me from now on will be filmed in this room. Like no more dragging cameras up and down the house. You know, everything I need is here. If I want to make music, it's here. If I want to film gaming content, it's here. If I want to edit a video, it's there. If I want to ask JBL to, 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 to show me some cool stuff, like, hey, okay, Google, play some Christmas music. Sure, have a listen to this Christmas music station on YouTube Music. I can do that, see? See how great that is? Everything is great. Ooh, you need to stop for the copyright, but you get my point. If I want to edit a video, I can do it right here. You know, it's everything is, is really, really great. And obviously with the JBL link view, my life is made even easier by hands-free questioning. I can just annoy Google all day. So thank you guys so much for watching my office tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to bring you more content from this room. A massive thank you once again to JBL for sponsoring this video and sending me the JBL link view. If you'd like to find out more about the JBL link view, there will be links in the description down below. I highly recommend it. I think if you're struggling for a last minute present to give someone for Christmas, it would be absolutely perfect. And you can just waltz into 2019 super organized which is gonna be a new thing for me. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see from me in the future going into the new year. And as always guys, I shall catch you later. Yep, I've already gone back to saying catch you later. Things, 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 new things don't last on this channel, do they? Nope, not at all. Guys, wait, wait, you're not gonna believe this. Wait, 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 hang on. Come on. Come on.